<clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, good afternoon. I have an appointment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Security! These beggars have got some nerve. They already broke into the office. Get him out. Is street not enough for you anymore? Now you're going around the offices? Begging instead? Ma'am, it's misunderstanding. I'm here to help. Okay. So let's make it fast. Mm. How much do you want? Is 10, 20 bucks enough? Not enough? Are you saving for winter tires? Look, we're not a charity fund here. We're a serious IT company. Have you seen these signs over here? It's not allowed to bring a vehicle inside. So just come on, get out and don't forget to take your parking ticket for your Batmobile, okay? No, I can't leave. I have an interview with Mr. Oldman. Oh. How cute. I should have offered you a chair while you are waiting, but I see you already brought one with you. <laughs> it has to be a mistake, right? I'm calling the security. These guys are so predictable. What do you want to explain? Oh, what's going on here? Guys, what's going on? Mr. Oldman, I'm so sorry. We're escorting him out already. I'm taking care of him. No, no, no. I'm so sorry, sir. Please, please accept my apologies. You're Mr. Everton, correct? Mr. Charles Everton? You're here for the job interview? Yes, but apparently I'm not very welcome here, so I'm leaving. No, 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 no. This is big, a big misunderstanding. Annie, Mr. Everton is the leading candidate for the position. Mr. Everton, don't you worry. Origins, we are a very inclusive company and we would love to have you in our ranks. Did you look at my test assignment? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was so impressed. You're practically a genius. Your response to the fourth question, brilliant. But there were only three of them. Uh, yeah, once again, I would like to pass on my sincerest apologies for the horrific behavior of my employees. And once again, I would love to have you be part of our company. Already? But you didn't even interview me? You know, Mr. Everton, I've got an eye for talent and I've got an eye for employees. There is no need for an interview. I see everything I need to see right now. Welcome to Origins. Mr. Oldman? Come on in. Here. I signed the job offer. Great. Just put on the desk. Oh, man, that game last night was amazing. Crazy. You play? No, I don't. Right. So, Mr. Oldman, um, I have a few ideas on how to improve our department. Uh, First of all, I think we need to get the distribution. Whoa, 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 whoa. How about you not have any ideas on how to improve your department, all right? Uh, excuse me? You see this? Yeah. Check out this magazine. Business Digest. That's right. Business Digest. It's one of the most influential business magazines in the whole country. Next week, they're gonna be running an article about us. My team said that our profits are gonna go through the roof after all the positive publicity. But you know what? I need somebody for the cover. And I think you would be perfect for it, huh? M Mr. Oldman, uh, it's such an honor, but why me? Why you? I mean, it's obvious, it's perfect. Just imagine, origins. Everyone deserves a chance, huh? I'm in. Nice. Awesome. 
Oh, man. It's going to be amazing. Come on, Charles. Give me a smile, man. Big smile. That's it. That's it. Misery. That's right. Give me misery. Sadness. Perfect. We got that. Right, so the handshake. Smile. I'm a goddamn genius. Smile. Got it. Let me see. Nice. Nice. I like it. Oh, that's it. That's the one. But make the wheels bigger in Photoshop. Okay. Jump out, just so. Okay. I want everybody to know that the that he's in a wheelchair. Got it? Yeah. Perfect. Mr. Oldman, can I go to work now? Actually, Charles, how long have you been working here for? For about a week or so? Yeah, a week. But you haven't done anything in this week. Like nothing. But you turned down all my offers. Do you think that I hired you for your abilities? That I hired you for your disabilities? For this photo shoot, for this setup. You can be serious. I'm dead serious. What are you kidding me? There's no place for people like you in the business world. Get real, man. Sorry. Fired. There's an article in this magazine you should see. I wanted to bring you a copy personally. Now that's what I call a cover. Check that out. Wow. It's genius. My God. Wow. What are you doing here? I, mean, I thought I fired you. I could have found this magazine on my own. Or are you deaf as well as crippled? <laughs> I recommend you to read the article itself. Very entertaining. Ah. Found it. Amazing. What? What? The Origins Company is the nation's leader in discrimination? Company owner Peter Oldman exploits and humiliates his, em his employees? What did you do, man? You're killing me with this. What are you doing? You know, Mr. Oldman, Actually, I had a job. The thing is, I'm a journalist for Business Digest magazine. You're a, you're a journalist for Business Digest? And we take material very seriously. We carefully verify our information. So I was sent to you to check it out. And you know what? I had a chance to talk to your staff and I learned that, oh, Racism, sexism, That's... and discrimination are commonplace in your office. Well, now it's time for the world to find the truth about your fabulous company. You know, Mr. Oldman, maybe I can actually stand up, but that doesn't mean I won't sit up for myself. Freeze! If you take one more step, I'll be forced to disarm you and restrain. How long is this nonsense going to continue? You're going to end up living your whole life alone. No family, no husband. Please open the door. 